techniques for obturation of the root canal. Objectives. The objectives of obturation are to prevent entrance of periapical exudate into the root canal space, prevent reinfection of the root canal, and create a favorable biological environment for healing. The criteria for root canal obturation, these criteria, they have to be present in the uh, root so that we can do obturation. First of all, asymptomatic tooth. The tooth should have no symptom whatsoever. No sign or no sinus tract or fistula. That means the the pathology has receded. So therefore, we we can do obturation. If the fistula is still there, that means we cannot uh, perform obturation. Dry canal. We have to place a paper point inside the root canal, and the root the uh, uh, paper point has to come out dry. If not, if it has any any uh, moisture or a foul odor, in this case we have to do re-instrumentation, and it is uh, helpful to have any uh, certain bacteriological culture, and <coughs> it should be negative uh, result. Techniques of root canal obturation. First of all, we're going to talk about the thermoplastic gutta-percha obturation. Here, after the end of the instrumentation, the, the root canal is tapered and clean we place our master cone in a wet canal and see if it fits to the full working length. After that, our pen or uh, heated spreader source, uh, we place it inside the root canal and it should be around about four to six millimeters short of the working length. We coat the gutta percha point with root canal sealer and place it inside the root canal. Then we bring the spreader, heated spreader, and activate the heat, and then go down uh, through the gutta percha to heat the gutta percha. After that, we start plugging with a hand plugger, which is uh, should be cold for adaptation of the epical portion of the gutta percha, so that the sealer and gutta percha will seal the irregularities and the lateral canals present in this area. After that, by using the gun unit of the, of the root canal uh, obturation system, we uh, introduce a molten gutta percha to uh, obturate the remaining part of the root canal, which is mainly the, the uh, middle and the uh, cervical portion of the root canal. After that, we use a hand plugger to adapt the molten gutta percha that is starting to solidify. Another uh, close uh, technique to the uh, previous one, we call it continuous wave gutta percha technique. In fitting the master cone is the same thing. Uh, application or fitting the plugger uh, is around about 0.5 to 2 millimeters from the cemented internal junction. 
fitting the master cone to three millimeters from the cemented internal junction, as we can see here, because we're going to plug the, the uh, uh, cone and it's going to go further. As we can see here, we push the master cone epically to get a tight contact with the root canal wall. Then we push a hot plugger through the gutta percha cone epically. This will create a wave of heat through the gutta, gutta percha cone. Then we place more gutta percha and push it by the hot plugger epically so that we fill the root canal space. More gutta percha is placed in the root canal and more plugging. Then adaptation of the gutta percha surface by a cold plugger. Now the sources of heat to be used with uh, this technique uh, maybe by a heat carrier that is heated by a flame or any source or an electrical heat carrier. Another technique which is between the mm, traditional lateral condensation technique and the warm gutta percha technique, we call it the warm lateral compaction. Here we place the master cone and use a hot spreader as in the lateral condensation technique. The spreader enters side by side with the master cone. Here it's going to uh, uh, and melt uh, the uh, gutta percha and make more space. As we can see here, this is more space for the got uh, the accessory cones to enter and uh, fill the root canal uh, in a better way than the lateral condensation technique. The thermoplastic injection technique here, we've got the uh, injection uh, device. It's going to uh, uh, soften the gutta percha to a soft gutta percha and we introduce the the uh, gutta percha inside the root canal this is important in cases when we have internal resorption as we can see here it is next to impossible to obturate such uh, areas with any other techniques other than this technique